Analyzing results. Give yourself the opportunity to revisit your statistics at least once a month, especially at the beginning. What you want to pay attention with are the open rates for better subject lines to use with your audience going forward. You want to take a look through the click-through rates that you had, which might indicate what are the better calls associated with what you are using inside of your messages. You also want to use analytics and split testing to optimize your conversion rates. Ultimately, with the amount of traffic, you want to continuously increase the result that you get. You also want to use your email service provider analytics for measuring your list growth over time, who's unsubscribing and when, and what kind of sales are coming in. These are all going to be indicators of what's working for your email list and what needs to be improved upon. Email Signature This is a merge field that you're able to use inside of most of your broadcast messages and your autoresponders. It's a feature of your email service provider. Once set up, your email signature will be dynamically inserted into your messages. Strategically use this for time-sensitive offers, promotions, or some type of focused desired action that you want in that moment that can be relatable to the rest of your messages that you have. Of course, inside of your follow-up messages, where you already have a substantial and strong call to action, you're going to avoid using your email signature. For your general follow-up messages, with good content, you'll want to use that email signature so that you can drive traffic to whatever offer is most important to you at that particular time. Change up your email signature at least once per month, especially at the beginning, so that you can see the impact that it has on your business and make decisions based on those results. Webinars Your email list health will get a boost when you do frequent webinars. You'll get new subscribers and you'll be able to re-engage your existing subscribers every time you do a new topic. Do not be afraid to repeat topics every single week. You also want to do webinars because they are a perfect proving ground to test out new products and service ideas that you may happen to have. Of course, webinars provide a fantastic sales boost for new buyers and upgraded customers. 1. Choose which email service provider you wish to integrate with. Two. Choose which list you want to connect people to when they click link. You'll want to integrate that link with your notifications if you want to receive their information to your inbox. You'll want to integrate it with your webinar host if you're connecting people to a webinar registration. 3. Next, you'll want to set your thank you page and name your link. 4. Then save your link. Then copy this link and insert it inside of your broadcast or your follow-up message. Five. If you want to use a partner to send out a link on your behalf, choose which email service provider that they're using for their list and copy the corresponding link. Email only exclusives and specials. Increase your revenue with your email list by sending out email only specials. These subscriber only purchase opportunities that can be sent out via email on occasion based on your own preference, holidays, or just for random marketing tests. Use these types of specials for non-customers for your primary product, and your current customers should receive email special offers for upgrades and cross-sells. Make sure you're communicating to each of those groups appropriately. Do follow-up email clusters, make a theme for three to four messages in that email cluster, and send those messages out over the course of about a week. Also make an affiliate email cluster. This is where you can recommend products or services that help your ideal audience and generate more revenue for you. Ideally, create a three-part email series that can go out to either your subscribers or your customers. This works extremely well as a cluster of emails that goes out over the course of a week or so.